guys. Um, I wanted to do a video today to show you what um, an example of one of my skincare routine looks like using the Young Living um, product. Um, so I, I have normal to dry skin typically, but I always um, assess what I'm doing um, every day and season to season. So in the winter, I'm a little bit more dry. And then day to day, I like to think about um, what my skin feels like. So if I haven't drank enough water or maybe I've eaten some foods I shouldn't have, I'm gonna um, choose something that's a little bit more hydrating um, versus something a little bit more based for oily skin. So um, I'm gonna get started. I have um, some Clarity Essential Oil in my diffuser right now. I highly recommend, I always say this, get a diffuser in your bathroom, guys, um, and put like peppermint in there to get you started on your day or one of their um, other essential oil blends. Like this Clarity one is great for um, clearing your thoughts. <laughs> it's a great way to start the day, so I always enjoy that. Um, so I got started today by using their new Orange Blossom Face Wash. This is um, a good choice if you are normal to oily and I was feeling a little bit more kind of um, like I have a few breakouts, so I chose this one today in my routine. Um, I've already done that. Didn't want to do it on camera because I didn't want to make a huge mess. <laughs> um, next up, I'm going to use the Art Toner. And guys, this is like one of my favorite things. You only need a couple drops. I feel like this lasts me like four months. I tried to DIY and make my own, but you know what? It just wasn't the same. Um, they All their products have essential oils already in them. Like I think this one has sacred frankincense in it. Um, it doesn't dry out your skin. It's not harsh. It smells amazing. Um, yeah, and I just love it. It works, so I just keep going back to it. Um, so that's the toner. I'm just gonna put my hair back. All right, so what I like to do after I wash my face and toned is use some essential oils directly on my skin. Um, I always use frankincense um, because it's great for cellular regeneration, guys. Fine lines and wrinkles. So go ahead and put a couple drops in your hand. I'm also gonna add today their new oil, Kinzia, because this one is also really good for blemishes. So I'm gonna add, go ahead and add that as well to my hand. And now, here's the little trick I'm gonna show, share with you guys. Get your hand wet. Um, I have just a little bit of water in this container. Get your hand wet, one hand, just a, a bit, and combine that with the oils. And what it's gonna do is allow the oils to stretch further. Um, typically, I have enough to go all through my chest and the back of my hands, right? These are all the places where you show signs of aging. So I like to um, use the water to help stretch it out over my skin and then also um, water drives in essential oils into the skin as well so your skin is really going to soak in all the goodness from those oils and then i always just take a moment to breathe in those wonderful scent it's grounding it feels fabulous um, i know my skin is getting a little bit red and that's just what happens anytime i rub my face <laughs> it will go away um, it does not like sting or hurt my face or anything like that. These are very gentle, therapeutic grade oils, guys. They are the bomb.com. All right, the next thing I'm going to use is this new acne treatment. Um, so I've been using this kind of off and on, like if I have a little um, pimple, I have a little breakout there. I'm just gonna go through the spots where I have a, um, some breakouts and then I'm also gonna apply some on places where I've had breakouts before. Uh, I know you're not supposed to, um, but I sometimes pick when I have breakouts. I'm trying not to get in the habit of that. But anyway, so I have a little bit of light scarring on my cheeks in certain spots. So I've been using this and noticing that it's helping reduce the redness from pimples from long ago. So I love that guy. And then I'm going to use their Cher Lume Moisturizer. I think this is out of stock in Canada and US right now. Guys, get it when it comes back. It's awesome. I'd say it's good for all skin types. You only need a little bit. Um, and it is a brightening lotion, so um, it helps prevent and treat dark spots on your skin. Um, and I like that, so do that. Next up, I'm going to be using the Wolfberry Eye Cream. This stuff, guys, will last you like a million years. I don't know if you can tell in there. It's kind of hard to see with the light. Um, 
but you just use a tiny, tiny, I've probably used way too much, like twice as much as what I should. Use a tiny bit, it'll last a long time. It's great for all skin types. It, it makes your skin feel so soft under your eyes. Um, and I love it. I don't have any issues with puffiness or um, things like that. I just love using that eye cream twice a day. Um, next, I'm gonna um, just, Normally I just use like the lip gloss, but today I'm going to go a step further and try this rose ointment um, because my lips are feeling extra dry. Um, this is their new formulation. It's vegan, yay. Um, and it contains rose oil and a bunch of other essential oils. Uh, this is another product that is gonna last you like forever. You just need the tiniest of bit. I like to use it on my lips. You can also use this on any um, dry skin spots or cuticles or yeah anywhere where you have really dry skin and that you would want to use a fantastic ointment for. Try that. Um, so there you go. That is my easy peasy um, daytime Young Living skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, maybe in the comments share with me your favorite Young Living skincare product. I would love to know what you guys are using, what oils are you putting on your face, um, and how you're liking that. 